Our next guest turned down an invitation today to meet with the president, saying he didn't want to waste his time being lectured by a president whose failed policies have put our children and grandchildren in a huge burden of debt. Joining us from Capitol Hill, Congressman Jeff Landry. Congressman, good to have you with us. Good evening. How are you, Lou? I, well, I'm fine, and I, I presume that you're better for not having wasted your time. Any regrets? No, not at all. Uh, look, you know, I, I certainly would like to see the president put out a plan. When he, put, when he puts out a plan that discusses some of the things that we've been talking about over the last three months, then certainly it would be worth our time to go out there. We can roll up our sleeves. I'll buy the Red Bull. We can stay at the White House for two weeks <laughs> and try to, you know, hash it out. But, you know, this political grandstanding is not what I came to Washington to do. Well, political grandstanding, it's occurred on both sides. Do you have the sense that this is going to be now a serious effort? For crying out loud, I mean, Congressman, we've been listening to people, including the Treasury Secretary, talk about the, uh, the drop dead date here is August 2nd. And until today, when Speaker John Boehner said we need to get this done in the next, next month, there had been no attachment of urgency to these discussions. Is there such now? I sure hope there is. Look, I, I, I am certainly troubled by the lack of sense of urgency. I've, I, I have supported trying to get this thing resolved since the beginning. You know, we, we have a lot of things to do here in this country. We need to get this thing off the table. We need to reduce this debt, and we need to get to growing this economy again. I mean, look, the only thing that we're doing while we're wasting time going back and forth between the White House is people are losing their jobs, the economy is not growing, and our deficit keeps going up. Well, the deficit keeps going up, and, be, and both parties, frankly, I, if I may speak uh, straightforwardly here, sure. both parties gamed the 2011 budget. That was a joke. It was supposed to be a contest of ideas and will. It turned out to be a rollover on the part of uh, everyone concerned. 2012 still looms. The debt ceiling is now before us. What is the likelihood of real significant, and I'm talking trillions of dollars in spending reductions? Uh, in negotiating that debt ceiling? Well, I'm going to tell you, Lou, the only thing that's going to work its way to getting what, what you and the rest of the American people want is continued pressure by the American people. And that's why I didn't go. I, you know, I hope that people understand that, look, if they continue to keep pressure on their congressmen and say, we have to do something about this debt, we have to do something about getting this economy back rolling, then possibly people will start to listen on both sides of the aisle. But I think, I, look, I, I can tell you, from what I hear in the hall, people are certainly getting frustrated at the lack of urgency. All right. Well, Congressman, thank you very much for being with us, and uh, we're glad your day was better than you might have otherwise spent it, at least <laughs> in your you. view. Thank you very much, Congressman. Thank you.